Oh, we, okay, cool. OBS decided to run. So, last uh, last time we were in, uh, we were we were entering Igbo Castle. We made it through the library and uh, eventually made it, found our way back to the laboratory and the um, the lobby and whatnot. Uh, with a bloody scene painting the way to where we were just kind of meant to go. Um, and our characters, or our players, whatnot, have found their found themselves in in a very um, kind of dark setting of not only the the scientists that worked here, being completely mutilated and destroyed and ravaged, um, but also the lives that they've, the life forms that they've uh, done the same to, and uh, in on a, a darker note, uh, whereas the scientists were kind of given more or less a mercy, the the life forms that they fucked with and ultimately like took body parts from and sewn together like they they were playing God the amalgamations did not get to suffer or did not get to uh, get the same fate. They, they are still, uh, they're, they're still remnants of their experiments kind of strewn about the laboratory. And our characters were beset by uh, four tables kind of showing off the, la the latest experiments that they were going through. And our um, our elf paladin Tease caught notice of the elf that was on one of the tables and started um, started looking him over, and there was just kind of the silence that befell the room. And you can you can see the anger, or not the anger, but you can feel the anger that kind of comes off of Tease from the disrespect of a fellow uh, a fellow elfman of, of her country and um, and her kind of uh, paladin estab not establishment, brotherhood because um, this um, she whispers under her breath the name of this this dead elf and that's Lazuli and <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Did someone want to make a reaction? I'm sorry, I, I, heard, I heard a voice. I'm going to make the reaction because there's like this weird pregnant pause. But like, what's the big deal? I, I'm sorry, uh, excuse me? You no, know, like, Buster? Are we like not a mission or something? I don't know. I, I'm sorry. Did you just say what what the big deal was? Yeah. What? I, I I'm sorry. Have you never dealt with uh with a with a like countryman or like a family member dying or anything like that? You you, you don't know what uh mourning looks like. No. Fucking unbelievable. Why would she? She's twelve. She's much older Look, than fucking. Look, I've been hidden away at a mountain all my life, and I don't know anything. Okay, like I was told I couldn't even leave the house. Well, you don't fucking belong in the outside world if you're if you can't fucking like. Never mind. It, 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 I was told I was gonna die or something. I don't know. Why the fuck did what? What do I? What, no, what reason do you have for even being out here? What possibly? What good reason did you have to be in the midst of all this? Why are you away from whatever fucking hole you came from? You're <laughs> like your your character, uh, your um, your race. Would you like would isn't would un you? I, I mean, hi, who wants to live in a hole in the side of a fucking mountain? I obviously don't have proper fucking etiquette to... Whatever. 
you probably well you obviously don't have proper fucking etiquette to deal with other people it might have been better for you to just stay in the fucking hole because no one would have to deal with what you what is your damage janet like what what's your deal like why are you so busy because you're fucking disrespecting my people like with the way you're treating this situation as if it's just something to just pass off this is this is a fucking brother of arms that I used to have in my life. This is a, a a person I fought side by side with at one point. Someone I had under my tutelage. And I, I can't mourn for more than three seconds or do anything for that matter without you making a snide fucking remark. How about that? How's that my fucking damage? Sure, you're right. We have bigger fish to fry, but my fucking god, let let the elf not. All of a sudden, your argument is cut short by the sound of a gunshot. Ah, they said I'm an asshole. Now that I have your attention, bloody fighting. We're already in a dangerous situation, and we don't need you just screaming and distracted. Whatever caused the marks outside, they're probably still alive and still roaming around. Hello. You keep your yeah, bloody eyes peeled. I, intend to fuck I don't want to die in some hole in the ground. Yeah, you guys can stick around here. I'm gonna go fucking kill that thing. Whatever killed my brother, I, I'm gonna fucking destroy Jeez. it. Jeez, Jeez, slow down. Don't just jump into this shit. All right. Teeth just I'll leaves. with you. No, no, no. Teeth just leaves. I want you guys. Let's go, guys. I want you. Follow her. I want you guys. No, I want you guys to sit in fucking silence for a goddamn minute. Like, no, let let her go. So we're gonna leave Tease to just. All right. Bye. Okay. So now. Why couldn't you have shown the size bit of respect there, Moon Touched? What? I don't even know what the big deal is. You, she, she obviously felt something for that person. They were obviously someone that was special to her. And instead of showing the slightest bit of respect and showing the fuck up for five minutes to give her time to mourn, you're like, what's the big deal? I don't get it. Or was someone you don't that have to, to get it. You just have to deal with it. Listen, y'all wanted me to be here because for whatever... And you told me that there was going to be, like, hot guys and treasure, and I ain't seen one yet except for a bunch of blood and some lady playing over some dude on a table. Like. Have you never heard the stories? The treasure is usually at the back of the cave or in the deepest depths of the castle. I'm beginning to think lying to me to get me in here. It's because you think I'm hot. Sure, let's go with that. Sure. You wanted to be along with me. 15 year old asking me if I think she's hot. I'm adorable. I'm, okay. going, I'm going to start examining these tanks, see if I can't figure out if any of them are still alive. Um, you know, just to give it to you, uh, or. Because a dice roll wouldn't be able to tell you from you just looking at the tanks. Uh, these, uh, you can't really tell if they're alive or not. Um, but each of the tanks have um, markings on them. And they're they're readable to an extent. It's just some of them are kind of blurred out due to like rust on the, on the little plates that are on each of the back to tanks. And you can't um, you can't make out what all of them say, but you're able to at least you know pull some of them out. Like you, uh, just I'm gonna put you up against one of them, just not like a because it doesn't matter which one you really look at because most of them are fucked up in terms of how they look. But uh, some of the ones that you kind of read, uh, there's one that has an LV. Uh, a couple smudge marks, and then a three zero. The next one has just the V and a three. The rest of the code is scratched out. Next one is a three and a two with the rest of the code scratched out. Um, 
the next one is per- perfectly visible, LV223, and it, and so on and so forth. Each of these like plates have these different codes on them. Um, but looking at these creatures, you can't really see their vital signs or breathing or anything like that because they're they're basically stuck in stasis. So, like, are they all dead? Hard to tell for sure, but they don't appear to be in any sort of visible signs of pain. What, What can you tell from there? I've got names. They appear to be in some kind of stasis if they're alive at all. Uh, obviously, they must have been some sort of research. <laughs> because they're all codenamed. Those are not like code names. Those are like, like numbers. Yes, well, when it comes to research, you thump. Keep, most of them are kept short thump, and thump. slightly numbered. Thump. Thump. Do you hear that? And then the door crashes open. Oh, shit. And you now see a one of the, the undead researchers that were outside. Uh, fallen on the floor like from passing through the doors and he uh, this a dead researcher like shambles its body back up and um, it's you know it's rib cage still opened up and it's like intestines and organs just kind of hanging off of it or out of it and it's um, it's neck kind of like loosely holding its head upright only just enough to like have it, you know, kind of look forward. Um, the rest of its body unhinged and hunched over, and just kind of broken. Still, shambles towards you. Oh, oh no! Was there nothing dead downstairs? Nobody invited your mom. Okay, nobody. Well, I right. I will take a shot at this thing. Uh, go ahead and roll for attack. Eight. Fifteen on the die. That's a twenty-three total. Um. Sorry, what was your base roll? Base roll was fifteen. Okay. Um. So, just for reference, uh, what, where were you specifically aiming on this thing? I'm going to be aiming for the head, because the chest cavity is open, and this thing is still moving. So, because um, I'm going based off of the base roll, and since it wasn't a crit, I'm not going to allow it to be the full-on, um, a full-on direct hit. Uh, like, uh, you don't hit the head, but you still hit, obviously. Um, so when when you take the shot, um, because you're trying to... I, the way I picture this is you're you're trying to quick draw it because this thing is it's coming at you and you just want, you want it to be dead. You want it over with. Um, and when you take the... You, when you quick draw and shoot, uh, the bullet hits it, but not directly at the head, but it does enough damage that it, like, dislocates the sh- its left shoulder. And the arm kind of like tries to reform back up, but like you can, it he can't control it anymore. He's just now this like shambling slowly towards you, but like that stunned him a bit. Um. Uh, since since you took your turn, do you want to move or do you want to try and take another action for shooting? Yeah, I'll take another action to shoot it. All right, go ahead. Roll another. That is a nineteen to hit. 
19 base roll, or? 11 base roll, 19 mm -hmm. total. Okay. Um, you take another shot, and um, this time it gets, it's, uh, it's in the, the clav clavicle? Like in that? Clavicle, uh, yeah. Shoulder. It's, yeah, that like, yeah. okay, but it, it, it's not the... It's between the shoulder and, and neck. That's what I figured. I wanted to make sure, because that's kind of where you hit, uh, but it's on the right side this time. And um, because of how it's shambling, it prones it because it throws it backward onto the ground, but you didn't kill it. Because you can see it's still twitching, like it's giving back up or it's starting to crawl. And now that you've technically taken up your turn, um, I believe next down in the line. Yeah, I'm not moving away from the tank. I can use that for cover. I um, I think next down in the turn is uh, Malakor. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at his head with my uh, short bow. All right. Let it be known that while the creature is prone, you have disadvantage on all ranged attacks against it. Oh, okay. Shit, Nuggets. Um, yeah, much like melee weapons would have advantage. Um, I guess I'll take a... Um, I don't know. This is some close quarters rooming, so you can you can just walk over to it and just try to like hit it in the head with whatever weapon you have. I guess I'll try and stab the head with my right here. Okay. So go ahead and roll a tap. Uh, I got a ten plus five. Um, fifteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, so that hits, and um. Just because the thing is already close to death, you you just go to a direct slice at the neck to decapitate it. And it dies. Um, well, <laughs> dies again, if you will. And right as that happens, and I'm because it's still your turn, and this is more or less a reaction. I'm going to give you the opportunity to roll, do a dexterity check, roll for me to like acrobatics out of this. So roll acrobatics real quick for me. Uh, 25 total. Cool. So, uh, as you decapitate the, that zombie, um, another two bust through, and they try to... The, the first one that comes through tries to grab you, but you're able to flip out of it. So you kind of do this backflip to get some distance, but also not get touched. And so uh, the zombie kind of falls to the ground and like shambles itself back up the other one was already um kind of headed in the direction of um the next closest person which would be uh yuki yeah i was trying i, was, I drew a blank but yeah the next closest person which is yuki of course it's me <laughs> um and so, since it's now your third turn, initiative. Uh, well, yeah. I'm sorry, Yuki's, what? Yuki's already next in line, so you you can go ahead and go now. I was just about to say that, so it's your turn. Now that you're My? face to face with this zombified researcher. My turn, or is it Malakar's final turn, or whatever? It's your turn. Oh, it's my turn now. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, first of all, my character, okay, Yuki is going to be, like, yelling obscenities, like, really loud, and she's, like, freaking out, and throwing whatever she can to get her hands on, and just start chucking shit while he's screaming obscenities. Um, okay, uh, yeah, um... I'm trying to think of what a check would, be, what kind of check would be for that, because it's improvised weapon. But if you're throwing random yeah, shit, she's, at just me. Always, she's just throwing random crap, and I'm not really doing. It's just like, yeah, 
whatever he can get her hands on. It's nothing like aimed or whatever. It's just in that general direction. Go ahead and roll. Maybe it'll be on top of them. I don't care. Roll a d6. Uh, roll a d6 for me. Sure. Let me pull one out. I'm gonna do this a really weird way, and I don't care if people hate me for this in the comments. Uh, three. Alright, roll a d4 that many times, and that's the amount of damage you do. Okay. d4 that many times. Because you, you throw three items, and now each of those items have their own damage. Sure. I'm going to find here. I know I have another D4. Fuck it. Uh, one and three. Um, how much total? Total oh, five. Five, okay. So, and I'm also screaming at Sunday. Can I do a blow up? Um, yeah, sure. Let me roll for you. Let's see if we get it. What did, uh, what was it that we discussed last time we talked about this? Like, I don't remember. Um, I remember it I remember setting a set number between... You were doing... For each level, you were going to do a set number. Yeah, and like it's going to increase with each time, so I think... What do we have it at? Like 15, 20, something like that? I'm going to say 15. I don't remember what you did. This was just something that was uh, vaguely talked about, but I don't know what you did. Okay, so... You throw like, the closest items you have near you, you, you take a scalpel, and you throw that, you take one of the, the pans that has like all the different tools on it, throw that at him, and then you also throw, um, just just to make it funny, Skittles, uh, you, you randomly grab him and, and throw him at the, the zombie, and as you're screaming all these obscenities and doing this, you feel a bit of a spark come out from your voice. And as Skittles is being thrown, you see this um, this kind of electrification almost uh, it, as it bolts towards the as it bolts towards the zombie. And I'm gonna allow you to choose the spell that takes place. Here's the spell that takes place. I'm going with fire. Say what? I'm going with the fire. It's kind of uncontrolled, so... You're just going to go with fire, basically? Sure. Shit. Okay. Um, roll roll yeah. the damage for that. Um, what am I rolling? Because I don't know how you spend this out. It, it, I don't know what the damage is for the fire spell that we're using. Uh, if I can... Uh, the, the... Usually it's a set. Say what? But usually it's a six. But I don't, like I said, I don't know what you plan for it. No, we, um, we're using that one spell. I'm doing the... My brain can't the process the name of it right now. Uh, uh, the... Instagram. I can barely understand you. Uh, let me pull it up. It's not. It's not your mic. It's like there's background noise. That it's like a fan or something. Yeah, it's a fan of my room. Um. Oh, it's a it's a one d four. Okay. I just looked it up. Let me roll one d four. Yeah, four. I rolled a four. You said you rolled a four? Yeah. Okay. Um, so as this lightning bolt starts to form, it uh, goes straight into the zombie and uh, catches it on fire. Starts to uh, starts to burn it in front of you, and um, 
because Skittles counts in the order of things, uh, what are you going to have Skittles do? Because you threw... Just... Say what? I You already threw Skittles at the zombie. That was one of the three items you threw at him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Skittles. 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 <laughs> um, okay, I don't normally play Skittles. We do, but, um... Oh, just tell me, like, just tell me what he's doing, and I'll just act it out. Um, well, I think that Skittles, since I threw Skittles at the zombie, the closest one at me, like... And, and knowing that Skittles wants to do what I wanted to do, he's going to, like, you know, like, try to, you know, fight while being attached to Zombie's pain. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to so, be the most ridiculous looking so thing is, in the world. I'm going to reenact the entire scene again. You take a scalpel and you throw it at the zombie. It cuts through. doesn't do much damage. You then throw the plate uh, with all the tools on it. And that smacks it in the face, only slowing it down doesn't really do much damage-wise. And then you have the fat pig imp thing with fucking girl clothes and makeup as you grab it from floating next to you like a fucking beach ball and, like, throw it at the zombie, like as if you're playing dodgeball, right? And this fucker is spinning into the air and gets stuck to the zombie's face. And his, um, he's, he's not, like, on his mouth or anything, but he's just, he's, like, like, his dick is in the nose of this zombie, alright? Like, he's fucking, he's clogging his face up, and, and now the zombie can't see. But, like, as soon as you, uh, like, scream one more time while you're throwing all this shit, uh, the firebolt comes out, and it, ja it zigzags over to the zombie, um, as it hits it and bursts the zombie into flames. Also cooking your little friend Skittles. And he doesn't take too much damage because he's, he's an imp. He's kind of fire resistant. Um, so he just is like Skittles. He's immune as he's to like, fire damage. You should, you he's an, yeah, he's an imp. He's immune to fire damage. I'm not like... Yeah. He's not dying from it, but it, like at the same time he's just sitting there roasting alongside the zombie. Nothing much going on there. Um, moving over to the over to the zombies' turn, uh, the one that's facing you right now, uh, Yuki, uh, kind of like is focused on Skittles humping his face basically as he's like shambling to try and like tear whatever the fuck is on him off so he can see. Um, so he's distracted. Going over to the other zombie that. <laughs> that tried to reach for um, Malachor, he's now, like, just shambling closer to him, um, but he's he's not making it too far, so uh, as he reaches to uh, Malachor, just barely making enough distance, he, go he goes in to, like, uh, with his right arm, just do a, a, a swipe with his claws, I suppose, nails, I don't Fuck, you know, he tries to swipe with his hand with his undead hand. And um uh Sully, what's your AC? Um thirteen. Oh, I thought it was thirty two. That's armor class, right? Yeah, armor class. Yeah. Yeah, it's thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the zombie Oh matches your mental age. Say what? It matches your mental age. I, I still didn't quite hear that. I'm like totally offended by that. I, Why? Because you have to deal with you, Yuki. Oh God, no! Please, let's let's just keep going. Zombie, the zombie goes down for a swipe, and he is able to claw just a little bit of you. Not enough to like cut deep, but just enough to leave some sort of like damage on you. And you take one damage. <laughs> you take only one damage. Wow. 
My rolls, they're the greatest, I swear. And um, now back to the top of the list again. We're going with uh, uh, Auburn. Auburn? Your turn, it's, Auburn. It's like large amounts okay. of shit. Okay. I'm, I'm going to just go bang. I'm sorry, did you just say you were going to go bang? Is that is that what you said? Yes, I am uh, just going to go bang. Okay, uh, who are you aiming at? The zombie, of course. Not Yuki. Oh, the zombie towards Yuki, then? Yeah, we'll go add the zombie towards Yuki. Okay. Um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll. Okay. No. There's a slight part of me. I have no disadvantage. Oh. I'm going to take a neg five to my roll for sharpshooter. God damn it. I was really hoping for a nat one. Just just a slight bit. It's okay though. Uh what what's the what's your total? What'd you roll? Uh my total is sixteen after the neck five. Skittles lives without harm for another day. So um <laughs> you were able to shoot And like, that is that is 22 damage. Yeah. The zombie's dead. It just dies. It, it, it decides to stop, do a T-pose, and then disappear. It just dies. Um, the bullet travels from your musket clearly past Yuki and right into the neck of that zombie that has Skittles attached to it. And then it falls to the ground backward and um, flinging Skittles all off of it into the wall um, as it kind of does the, you know, the sticky hand thing where you slap it against a window and it kind of flops down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, that, that's, that's what I'm picturing here for Skittles as he smacks against the wall and just kind of, <laughs> as he like kind of goes down the, the wall. Um, and uh, what what else are you doing after that? Are you gonna take? Are you gonna try and take another shot, or are you going to move? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take out the other zombie as well if I'm gonna roll like that. Again, we start shooter. Okay. Okay, that's not quite as good. That's twenty two minus five, seventeen. No way, that's slightly better. Is that 17? Okay, go ahead and uh, shoot. Let's see, is that. Now, let's see how much damage I can do with this one. Ah! Oh, only 17 damage. Um, that's not too bad. So, um. I rolled, I rolled one off minimum. You kind of mess up the shot a bit like last time, and it goes into the shoulder of that zombie, which knocks it, uh, but not enough to like prone it or like make it fall or anything. But uh, you can see that it jolts from the gunshot and uh, kind of reforms its position back on Soli, um, but also like slowly turning to gaze you a bit as the blood drools from its mouth. And. Um, when while that happens, you see a dagger go flying uh, from the doorway to the zombie, and th standing there is um, standing there is Sophia. Uh, she was she she's like kind of frantic and worried um and she's like look uh 
there there's a whore i don't know what the fuck you guys did i don't know what the fuck's going on in here uh i i i don't know what the fuck's going on we need to, uh, we need to get into the back room we need, to, we need to we need to bunker up here uh something along those lines i i where the fuck is tease that's for one thing. Where the fuck is Tease right now? Why isn't she with you guys? What happened to her? Moon Touch said something she shouldn't have and made her bolt. Whatever. She was like, oh my god, I gotta do some revenge bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. Elf dead, she ran away. I had to go back to the asshole store. I don't know. <laughs> don't disrespect my wife Moon again. Moon Touch hurt her feelings. Um, secondly... We're gonna need to hunker down for a bit. We're not gonna be able to save her in the meantime. There's a there's a huge ass forward. I really hope she made it through, but right now, I was sent here to check on everything, and I was not expecting this bullshit. Get in the fucking back room now. Um, she kind of points over to the the double doors, uh, to the other side of the room, uh, and you guys kind of go in there, and it's this data collection area. Uh, and there's like lines and lines of files of different like research um, and notes and whatnot. And uh, she kind of takes she t she takes the door and she closes it. And there's the there's like a barring that she can put a panel of wood between to like lock it up. And she kind of pushes some furniture along. And she's like, "Okay, guys, I, I need to know what the fuck's going on." Gresh set me up here. To check on everything. Why? Why are there zombies? Why? Why is there a fucking murderous escapade that happened in the lobby? Was that you guys? Like this is some crazy ass shit no. that's going on. No, no. We showed up. They were dead. <sighs> Y'all are like, oh, we gotta do a mission here, but and there's vampires and yeah, and oh no, there's no rich guy. There's no hot guy. There's a lot of dead people. There's not going to be a lot of people here in a minute. God damn it, dude. You and don't my, understand. My, you don't understand. No. Shush, 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 shush. Fuck, you you keep, you keep. Shush. And look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Baby, look at me. Look at me. I, I want you to understand this. I w hold on. Hold on. I want you to understand this, Yuki. We're going to die. Hot people are going to fucking die. I'm a hot person and I'm going to fucking die. We... We are stuck in this goddamn castle. I don't know what the fuck caused these zombies. But right now, we need to look at the shit at hand and not think about the hot dudes. We can do that when we get out of here and we can gossip all we want about, like, your fucking fantasies and shit. But right now, we're in Death Central, baby, and we, <laughs> we, need, to, we need to come up with a plan. And we need to come up with one fast, alright? Reaction. We need to create a barricade. I've got a gun so I can fire from a distance. Sorry, what? No, I, I seriously he didn't... He has a gun so he can fire... He can shoot from... She can shoot from a distance. My bad. I mean... Gun's great and all. Um, We're a bit outnumbered, though. Those weren't the only three zombies. Oh, I just shit. I, I I hate to tell you this. I was followed by a horde, and um that one musket, as much as the reload you you have are pretty great, we're kinda fucked. Alright? There's too many of them out there. We need like an explosive to clear a path. We need an alternative. We we can't we oh there ha Maybe there I can reach for Maybe I can reach Veronica. What's that? Do you know what that black ooze is right there or out there? The black black ooze. There's there's a thing of black ooze out there. There's creatures out there we could possibly use to slow them down. Um. Well, uh, I'm, I didn't see the black ooze, so I don't know if if that will be useful to us. Uh, hold on. Let, let's let's search the room a bit. Maybe we can find. Maybe we can find something uh, to to help us out of here. Um. 
So I'm going to let you guys search the room a bit. I'm going to assume you guys kind of turn everything top side. Um, she, she's more focused on keeping the barricade up at the door. And, um, I, I what, what is, um, wh- how are, how are you guys going to search about this room? Like what? Or I should say, I, guess um, I don't know. Um, is there anything flammable in here? I, I'd rather not destroy the research. I'm going but... to go over and I am going to cut Sophia and I'm going to cast Warring Bond on them. Warring, warring Bond on Sophia? Yes. What does that do? Hang on, I'm about to post it in the chat. Okay. Spell wards a willing creature you touch and creates a mystic connection between you and the target until the spell ends. When the target is within 60 feet of you, it gains a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws, and it has a resistance to all. Ooh. Okay. So each, uh, each time it takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. Uh, this spell ends if you if you drop to zero hit points, or if the target be, uh, becomes more than sixty feet. Okay, all right, that's uh, that's not broken. Um, so I mean, it basically splits the damage in half between you and them. That's fair. I, it's still fucking destructive with the like makes them immune to damage types. Um, okay, so she like thankfully takes that. She's like, "All right, thank you for that." I I don't see what your plan is with with this, but um, you mentioned uh, you were you're the one holding the door. door. You're the one that we need to keep alive. Fair enough. Um. You mentioned that you were trying to reach out to uh, Victoria or um, not Veronica. Veronica. Uh, what? What's Veronica? Or how do you have a connection to this person? Who? Who is she? Uh, let me bring it out. Where is it? Just for reference, are you like actually pulling something? Uh, I was on. Well, I was hoping that I'd be able to reach her, uh, sort of telepathically, but apparently I can't do that. Oh, that like that's in the rules, or do you? Didn't I give you like? I was looking into it. You gave me, like, a headband or something for it. I thought I gave you, like, a, an ignition key type thing that was similar to, uh... The drill key from fucking Guren Lagan. Um... I don't know. Uh... Well, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have you all roll perception, because I want you guys to search the room for him real quick. I was gonna say I was gonna start searching the room, but that's fine. Perception. Perception. Can I use investigation instead? What are you investigating? I mean, I I wouldn't really consider that percept like looking around the room, but I mean, if you sure, fuck it, why not? I got a six. Oh. I got an 18. Uh, I got a bullshit. I actually put a plus one, so 19. Um, I'm gonna have you take that 19, and, uh... Oh, shit, what's, uh... Did you, did you send me the... 
the the thing for the imp in our Discord, Dad? I don't know. I did. Like our, um, our private chat or like in the actual? I don't remember. But the, what are you looking for for imp? Uh, I I want his uh, perception. I don't see if I'm on here. Because he should have like stuff he's into. Yeah, it's just perception, insight, persuasion, and stuff. What's his uh, perception uh, plus or whatever? Half perception. Modifier. Yeah, the modifier. Oh, oh wait, no, he has um, passive perception for 11. His passive perception. So that means he has a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. I did not see that. I am sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I was gonna have him give like have advantage for uh, to helping you, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't really roll too high, so we're. Um, I guess you're the only one seeing things. I, fuck. I, Aub did Auburn see anything, or what would she roll? Uh, yeah. What about bullshit? Then? You rolled bullshit. Okay, so... 27? 27. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a nat 20, unfortunately, for you. It's not... In, it, it was. It's, it's not, unfortunately. I don't... It's not a competition, guys. I'm trying to write a story for you. That's not unfortunate. Don't... Fuck you. Um, so... Here's how I'm gonna do this. Sometimes the most fun can be had in failures. And and I felt miserable almost no, every time. There's no failure on my end. The only failure I have is trying not to like want to kill your characters because I'm trying to DM properly. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, you said you got a 19, Dad. So solely, um, yeah. you your character doesn't see shit. Um, with the low number, I think you're too. No, he, he's he's looking at the wall. You're pretty fucking much. Uh, he's like, da -da -da. um, oh, that's a nice butterfly. Oh, it's, it's a in a spider wax. web. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I I have a feeling that like, I I can see fucking uh Malachor looking at, at the wall, and he's like. Dude, you realize if you ever stare at the patterns on the wall long enough, they start to shift. <laughs> it's just like losing his fucking mind, just looking at the patterns in the wall, and he can like see them shift or whatever. And it's not, it's just him doing the illusion to himself, not like an actual drug effect or anything. Like... <laughs> I'm just thinking he's living in the Matrix. Deja vu. Oh man! So Malakor, um, Malakor's off doing fuck all, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you and um, because my dad got pretty close to a twenty. Um, cause there's not much for me to describe critically when it comes to seeing things, but. Uh, in this room, you guys both fixate on a particular object, and it's not it's not really a a thing as it is well, it, it kind of is, kind of isn't um, it's um, it has very thin legs and thin arms with three fingers on each hand um like two very large fingers and like the opposable thumbs. And on the two legs, there's these squarish looking feet. And the, the body that holds these two appendages is this circular figure. And by the way, this is all like very thin looking metal, not like to the point of tin, but you know, it's not, it's not as durable looking as steel or anything, but uh, you know, it, it looks toyish almost. But in this circular figure, you see this fleshy face with a single closed eye and a pair of lips. And it has two very tiny wings attached to it. And it doesn't, it seems to be kind of 
lifeless, if you will, not really asleep. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Greatest response ever is just ew, and then silence. We're, we're not gonna even, like, go up and touch it or, or finagle it, it's just ew. Good night, folks. This um, is part two. We're all just stuck in the the data center. Uh, um, I'm gonna grab a stick or something and just poke it because I'm not touching it after the zombie situation. Um, no reaction. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, just because I have any openings, orifices. Because you, because of your net twenty, I'm just gonna give you right off the bat. Like you, you hold this small body. It's almost like as big as your torso. It's not too big, but um, you kind of flip it around. It's a light. Can tie me then. It it it's a uh, it's light in your hands when you're holding it, and you kind of flip it around to like look for any different openings and whatnot. On the back of it, it kind of looks like the back of a wind-up toy. Um, there's, like, a, a wind-up key and then a little switch. Yeah, let's see what it does. Might be our best option. Oh, no. No, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Go, go away. Um, so... Uh, you you take the the wind up key, you start turning it, and as you're turning it, the the wings start to go inward and then outward very slowly, and um, there's still no full reaction. So you move on to the switch and you flip the switch, and as that as you as you flip it, the body starts to form to life. And it starts kicking a little bit, and it's like, oh, whoa, whoa, what the, uh, protocol, protocol X, uh, EX07, of uh, uh, monodrome number three, reporting for duty, uh, what, I've been out of commission for over 72 hours, uh, what, what's, uh, what, what's going on, uh, what, what was the last experiment, uh, what was the protocol that was last derivative to me, uh, one second, checking. I think we found you a sex toy. I'm sorry, what? I said Skittles, I think we found you a sex toy. He lo like, Skittles just looks at you and just shakes his head no. And like, very sadly no. And then he points at you and says Skittles, and that translates to you like, you're, you're the only one for me, baby. Uh... <laughs> um, ew, you were just fucking that thing in the head over there. It's Skittles, like, Sk no. Skittles, Skittles. He said he wasn't fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick was in its nose. Gross. Sk Skittles. Not my fault the DM described it weirdly. Skittles, Skittles, Skittles. Skittles. Meh. <laughs> um, so the monodrome... Um... <laughs> The motto drone kind of like kicks back up and is and, and um kind of jumps off uh from your hands and wipes itself a bit or shakes itself a bit to like get back into the movement feeling. He's like, I do not know this term of sex toy you were meaning, but I do not derive such sexual pleasure to living beings. Hello, my name is TR009. Excuse me, um... A trick? What the fuck is that? What, did you what are we talking about? Are we talking about the special moon fox? Or the weird looking imp thing? Or are we talking about the dead guys? Uh, no, um, this is... That was Sophia that said that, and she's... I, She's like, I'm gonna assume we're talking about the imp and whatever the fuck clockwork soldier you just awakened over there. What the fuck is that? No oh, idea, but it might be helpful. Uh, hey, TR guy, is there like any rich people here? Like really cute boys that are rich? This is a well-financed research facility. 
modeled off of, of Briodia's oh, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. and it just like starts to glitch a little bit and um it 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 kind of like shuts shuts down a bit. It's um it needs another wind up. Uh, this is gonna be fun. You guys are I'll begin winding it up again. And um it kicks right back up. Sorry for the malfunction. I'm a little bit of a defective. After all, TR009 was the last of its company. I was made off of the research of Briodia in the research of monodrones. This is the financed facility of life research, where we create chimeras and a new way for humanity to prosper. How can I be of service today? Zombies. We have zombies. Yes, we have an underbreach. We have uh, chimeras running loose. Uh, Nick, sorry. File, file is undesired. I do not recognize of any research pertaining to necrotic research, such as zombies. I don't know what you would want me to do with this information, as it is a uh, missing file, if you will. We didn't have any prepared... Well... And it kind of pauses for a second, like, using its hands, kind of clamping a bit as if it's trying to think. And then it, like, re uh, readjusts itself once more. We had no planned research in regards to how uh, necromancy was to work. I don't know what you mean by zombies. I cannot believe that this is a possibility. Also, none of you seem to be wearing your identification patches. Are you all not from Brio- Well, hold on. You're one of the soldiers of Briodia, but the rest of you don't seem to be wearing your identification patches. I lost mine. Unknown experiment failure. Accessing. Accessing. Hmm. I don't seem to have any file records in regards to that. Hmm. Perhaps maybe we can check on the researchers in the main laboratory. Shall we open the door? No. Uh, no. Uh, unknown no. contagion? Hmm. Would you like uh, me to... Lockdown protocols. Lockdown protocols? Hmm. There are no lockdown protocols. Would you prefer to do the evacuation? Yes. And it kind of like yeah. does this um, straightforward march towards the center of the wall. Um, the, wa the one wall that it was leaning up against. And... Um, it kind of turns towards uh, specifically uh, Auburn, since she's the only one wearing Briodian uniform. And um, he he turns to you and is like, I require assistance. Behind the bookshelf is procedure number 3479. Alright, I'll go over to the bookshelf. The bookshelves need to be removed in order for me to access protocol. Someone want to give me a hand over here? Yeah. I go help uh, Auburn. You guys pry over, open the, um, pry open the bookshelf so you can see that there's like this, um, uh, Behind the, both of them, there's this little patch in the wall that's uh, octagon shaped, and it has this almost keyhole like structure in the middle of it. This is the protocol location. Can someone lift me so I may be able to open it? This is too fucking weird. Uh, um, you're taller than I, Malako. <laughs> Perhaps you might be able to reach. 
Sure, I, I reach and, uh, grab it. Thank you for the assistance. Now proceeding with protocol. And he takes his hand, and he, like, fully straightens it out, and jabs it into the hole in the wall, and he starts twisting it left. Until, uh, you hear, like, this clicking sound. And then he starts to twist it back the other way, into this, uh, diagonal position. And when he pulls out his arm, the door slides open from the left, and you have another escape route. This is protocol. Uh, Sorry? That was another escape route? Sorry, not another escape route, but like, um, because like the library, there was the whole hallway thing, it's like similar to that. Um, Another secret pass. Okay, into the garbage chute, fly boys. <laughs> oh god, we are going full Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> protocol initiated. Evacuate single file. And uh, they can get out of my way. <laughs> shit. Um, out of my way. I'm done. My Discord. I'm done. There are no cute boys. There is no money. <laughs> There is no treasure. Get out of my fucking way. We're all about dudes. Get me out of here. Proceeding with protocol. Please follow. And he like drops down from uh, Malachor's hand and leads the way with like the straightforward toy soldier march. And uh, y'all kind of make your way through the hallway. And... Are you faster? Faster! Run. What? Oh my god! What, what are you losing your shit over? It's not fast enough! Gotta get the fuck out of here! My apologies, but due to pr protocol, it is safe to move in a single file line. If we rush each other, we may h cause harm. And, what, um. Like static claim? Say what? Uh, whatever. Go! Go! Lead the way! Single file bullshit! Let's go! Let's go! And so as you make your escape and the door closes behind you, you make your way into the next room, um, kind of heading a little bit more towards uh, what would feel like the entrance of the castle again, but you come to this courtyard. The, the, the secret entrance leads to this courtyard, and in the middle of this courtyard is a, I, it's this black tree that is pulsating and has like this purple smokish aura around it. And what the kind of murder house bullshit is this robot dude? Accessing files. This seems to be experiment X three P P C, an experiment that has to deal with necrotic damage or uh, necrotic magic. A tree was infused with several different life form spirit energy, thus forming this tree. No one knows what caused the. Like, well, how do I want to? How did I phrase it again? Uh, no, no one understands the anger that comes from this tree. It's kind of said to have a I guess urge to it I'll put it that way yeah kind of an urge, urge? to it yes it, some of the researchers when providing energy and soul sustenance to the tree it decided to go uh, murderous if you will it killed many it's of the a researchers a murder tree a murder tree quiet I die <laughs> Uh, hey, we don't want to disturb the tree, but this is one of the best ways to get out of here, and it's probably better than, um, well, I guess since the other way was blocked, uh, this is probably a better way to go. Um, so, yeah. Throughout the, on the other side of the courtyard is the, du the dual doors that lead to the exit, and we can make our escape through there. 
Well, we gotta deal with the tree first. I never said you had to deal with the tree first. I thought you said that like had to like feed something to the tree or something. No, I'm no, sorry. he was trying to quiet you down because he was afraid it was gonna wake up. Auburn. He said some murder tree. Yeah. Murder I tree. Can... I heard that. And it seems to be part of the cause of this. We can leave now, or we can take, or we can try and kill it. Stealth attack it while sleeping and kill it. I mean, that does seem to be the most. We were running research on this, and we tried to actually put this thing down about two years ago. Sadly, there was no physical way to harm it. I wouldn't suggest attacking it full force. No physical what? way to harm it. So you... Magic. You... The research you try that magic on it? Right. The research that we came to the conclusion to with this tree is that it has, it has to take a specific neurotoxin. This toxin was comprised of different... My apologies? Neurotoxin. What's a neurotoxin? A, 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 neurotoxin? a neurotoxin is a type of poison that attacks the brain. Correct. Hmm. Okay. So it, it it's it, it's an undead tree. Is is that what you're saying here, um, Troop? Is it's an undead tree? Troop. I like that nickname. Anyhow, correct. In a way, it is a life form. So if we take the neurotoxin that is hidden away in the files that I have stored inside me, we should be able to, quote-unquote, kill it, as you say. Um, guess do it, be fast. Yeah, can, can you make the damn thing already? What do you need for it? Loading file. Need, We're not gonna like I make it to, angry or anything, are we? Uh, uh, Give me the information. The the file shows that we need blood samples from NC two three six LV two two three ID one nine one, and then the composition of flower directory Rocco. We need to go to the greenhouse and then go back to the laboratory for such blood samples. Right. Auburn. And where's, where's the greenhouse? Let's go. Greenhouse should be, mm, based off of our direction currently, should be to the southwest of here. How far? Uh... Actually, have to count. Give me a second. So you guys are about here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's twenty-five times five? One twenty-five. One twenty-five. One hundred and twenty-five feet, approximately. How far back is the lab? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen times five, sixty-five feet, approximately. Group, can you write down? Uh, does anyone have anything to write with and on? Wait, right now. touch. Do you have anything to write with or write on? Yeah. Do you have the, can I have both, please? What the hell my bag? Wait, what are we oh, what are we writing for? I was gonna have I was gonna have Froop write down the blood samples. I was gonna use the blood oh, samples. Dude, the, the files are stored within him, so you don't have to you have to write any of the Yeah. But we could split up and kill two birds with one stone. That's fair. 
if that's if that's what you have planned. Sophia rejoined us, or Sophia's still with you guys. Yeah, she's she's yeah. now like she's kind of the replacement until you find Tease for a bit. Uh, okay, yeah. send that apothecary bitch to the greenhouse. She knows what's up. Yeah, I'll um. Uh, you want to draw blood samples with me? Uh, uh moon touched. I mean, you either go with him to get the plant, or or you either go with him and the robot to get the plant, or you go with me to get blood. But if you go with him, I'm gonna bring Sophia so I can make so we can take the job and make it half the t- take half the time and meet back here when we get everything. Might I suggest alternative? Because of the well procedures that happen in laboratories or in the laboratory here. I have to be the one to activate certain systems. Since none of you have the clearance or protocol uh, re- ugh, re- references references ugh, uh, attached to you, and none of you seem to have the clearance, I must be the one to take care of things. Allow me to go back to the laboratory. You guys get the Rocco flu, the route from the greenhouse, and we'll be able to meet back up here in the courtyard. Sophie, do you know what a Rocco route is? Uh, yeah. Um. It's kind okay. of related to the Mandrake. I, I should be able to find so one. Can someone, like, pick him up and take him so he's, like, not so slow? It's, it's, it's a robot that stands taller than me. No, it's the same size as fucking... Or, actually, it's smaller than, uh... What's his face? Yeah, what, what's taller than me. Oh, oh, my bad. I I completely misunderstood. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll I'll carry the damn thing. You come with me and the robot. Those they go get the they go get the flower root. We get this done. How's that sound? He salutes and is like prepared for duty. That okay with you, Auburn and Sophia? I'm done. yes. But before we split apart, we should probably wind oh, up our young uh, our little oh, friend here as best as possible. I'm sorry, what you, you what? Say? Before we separate, we should probably wind up troop of, uh, as much as possible. I can wind him. I can wind him while I'm running. Okay. Uh, potions, potions, and leaves. Uh, you guys keep your potions and leaves. Uh, whoever stuck with me, I I have potions. It's oh no, I thought they. Okay, so we already have them. Uh, all okay. right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's let's go. I pick up Proop. Let's, let's let's split up and get this done, guys. Get this done. And get out of here. Sophia is with um, Moon Auburn. Country. No, Auburn. Okay. Sophia Sophia's with Auburn because she knows the plants, and I'm with. Also, oh, I have the bond. Do what? Also, I have the bond with Sophia at the moment. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys go your separate ways, and. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut back from this for a bit, and I'm gonna kind of give you guys a cutscene here about Tease. And she is currently. She's currently uh, in, going through the control room that's, um, on the same side as, as the greenhouse uh, of the castle and whatnot, and uh, she's like, trying to find what has been causing all this death and destruction. And, uh, she's been slaying zombies left and right, still, like, anger burning inside her after uh, seeing her comrade dead on the table like some sort of fucking animal. And, uh, she was able to make her way from the control room to the barracks, which is the next room over. And as she busts it open, uh, she sees, like, one of the few soldiers that are still alive and starts to press them for questioning. Um, she takes her spear out and like pins him up against the floor. And it's like, what the fuck's going on at this facility? Why? Why did you... What fucking bullshit are you guys dealing with here? How could you mutilate one of my own? Or just in general mutilating all these creatures? I'm, I'm sorry. I I don't have clearance or protocol in the science experiments. I, I I don't I don't know what the fuck's going on. I I, I can I, I don't know how I can appease. I I can give you supplies, weaponry, whatever you want. Just leave me out of this. I I'm not 
I'm not going to leave you out of this. All right, you you have some shit to fucking pay for after what the hell has been going on over here. What the fuck is le- le- unleashing this undead? What what have you guys been- You need to answer these fucking questions. Look, we we were messing with uh we were messing with this tree um and we were from what I was told of the rumors I heard and some of the guarding that I had to do, uh, we, we, we put blood into it. We put demons into it. Uh, there's so much shit that goes on uh, that I don't know about. I'm just a grunt. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to misinform you. But th- that's, that's as much as I know is fucking blood rituals for crying out loud. Any of the researchers still alive? That you can take me to, that I can get some fucking answers from. Otherwise, I'm gonna mutilate you, like you did to everybody else here. No, I. He kind of he kind of cuts off and he, he gets up slowly, and he has his hands raised, and he's like, "Look, I'll I'll try and take you to the Vamp Queen herself. All right, I I I don't want to die. She's gonna probably fucking kill me anyways." I don't know of any researchers that are alive. And um, he kind of bows his head and moves forward. And Tis is holding the spear to his back, just kind of poking him and prodding him along. And um, they leave the barracks into, to go to the throne room. Um, cutting away from that, uh, just by the way, we've gone for an hour, guys. Do you guys want to end the session here as a cliffhanger and do a part three, or do you want to keep going? I kind of want to keep going, but it's up to the other two as well. Yeah, I know my dad's kind of tired. That's going what I want to ask. I am fine with whatever. Sounds like, like normally I'm fine with whatever, but I actually kind of want to keep going with the story. Okay, so it sounds like you guys will keep going. We'll uh, on. we'll keep going down the rabbit hole here. Um, oh yeah, I'm down with that. So I'm not letting you can hear it. We're gonna we're gonna cut <laughs> over to um our our little gnome and Sophia, and they have made their way back to the foyer and immediately start going to the right side of the room and. Um, The uh, or not the right side of the room, but like they they go through the door on the right side, and they go into this hallway, and this hallway is lined with uh just you know suits of armor. It's just like a fancy hallway. There's nothing too interesting going on here, and uh, at the very end of it, there is this doorway. As you guys kind of make your way up to the door, y- you see a um. You see this letter keypad, right? And with that letter keypad, under it is this inscription. And um, I'm just going to let you kind of react uh, off of that. So, Auburn? Do I see anything nearby that could give me a clue to what the passcode could be? No. And and you don't have to roll. They, they, there's literally nothing in the room that would give you a clue. All right, so here, what do you think we should do from here? Well, um, this is a very interesting looking cipher, but sadly, I we would need to know the. She kind of pauses for a second, and, um, by the way, I don't, actually, have I sent it in the chat? I'm going to send it in the chat real quick. About a month ago. Uh, I know I sent the, the, did I send the lettering, or did I send the, just the symbols? Let me double check. That weird cipher thing? 
Yeah. I just breathe in both since it's a ways back in the chat. Yeah, okay, I, I see. I didn't send the, the symbol thing. Uh, let me send the symbol thing real quick. Um, just for reference, this is what you see on the door. Um, this is what you see on, on the door. Uh, I sent it in the group chat. And she kind of, Sophia, when she looks at the symbol, she kind of uh, pull. She has her, she has her like fingers run across it as if like she was hoping for some feeling, but it's like, it's not braille or anything. She's not going to get any like sense off of it. And uh, she's like, I've recognized this, like, I've recognized the cipher before. Um, but we need the. The alphabet structure for it. Do, by, by chance, do you think maybe it's gonna take forever to to go all the way back there? Um, quick question uh, to to um, to you here, Auburn. Did by by chance did Gresh give you guys sound stones or stones of far speech or anything like that? Did, did he give you any of those equipment when? When we sent you, did, did did we forget to do that? I I know Malako was handed something, and possibly Yuki. I'm not sure what they were. I didn't get a good look at them. Okay. Um. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh. And she she pulls out her necklace, which is this like pearl looking thing. Um. And it starts to glow this blue, and she starts to rub it uh, with her thumb uh, as it's in between her fingers, and she whispers this elfish, um, the elfish language for call, and then she says Malachor's name. And um, picking up over towards Malachor, uh, you kind of get this weird like vibration in your pocket. Why do you have a vibrator? Not a fu fuck off. <laughs> Not a vibrator, damn it. Malachor, mm. check your fucking pocket, dude. Yeah, I pull out I pull out whatever is vibrating in my pockets. Me, I'm vibrating in your pockets. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude! You are horny yeah, as baby. fuck over there. No, what? No, oh, what's going daddy. on? There's too much oh, horn. Daddy. There's too much horny. Stop it! Click, click, no. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> daddy, yeah. So um. Yeah. Daddy, no. <laughs> so you hear through the 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 stone that you pull out of your pocket confusingly. Um, you hear Sophia's voice go like, "Hey, Malakor, yo, you there? Can, uh, you read me?" What? What? How, uh, yeah. How are you talking? What? Do you, uh, who's like? What do you need? Uh, yeah. Uh, so we found this door, and um, we we kind of need the uh, the this cipher for it. This information. There's a. I don't know if there's a file on it, but uh, since you have the robot, we were hoping, or, or since you have the monodrone, we were hoping maybe you could ask it and see. Boop, do you know anything about this uh, cipher on a door? Oh, um, hmm. West Wing, correct. West Wing cipher door. Uh, we give those permitted to specific soldiers. Uh, let me see if I have. I there should be a picture file uh, somewhere within the, um, within the uh the data center. If we were able to to get that picture file and give it to them, they would be able to open the door. Uh, sadly, it's magic resistant and blast resistant, so they wouldn't be able to bust it open. They would have to have the cipher in order to move forward. Kind of Moon touch, like, old floop for me while I check the bag I was given by um while I see what I while I see what he gave me earlier because that might be what his cipher was. Um. Okay. 
I hand her the, I hand her the floop and then I, oh, while we're running I pull the bag out and look in the bag and see what it is. Okay, um I I'm trying to think cuz uh I don't know what I don't remember what Grush gave you. Um I don't know either. I, I'm pretty sure it was just the soundstone. I don't know if he gave you the cipher thing. I, yeah, I think it, I think it was just the soundstone. But um, yeah, I don't have anything. Um, how 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 do we get the uh, image file? Bloop. Uh, tr let's see. If if we if you take me to the data center, I would be able to pick out the file that would be necessary to give over to them. It's a picture file. It's just uh, amongst some of the stuff when uh, the stuff within the uh, data center. So I, I would have to search for it. And the data center is where all the uh, creatures are at, right? That is where we where you found me. Correct. Okay. Okay. Let's stop there real quick. Let's stop there real quick. Let's get the, this picture file. Moon touched you and Floop go take care of the blood. I'm going to run this to them. The blood? Yes. You don't, have, you don't have to. You just have to inject blood from creatures. That's all you have to do. Um, okay. You like blood, remember? It's cool. You probably inject I think something. That is cool, sure, but it doesn't mean I like collecting it. Just, just. Do you want to die to the zombies? Oh. <laughs> I will give you ten gold of my personal gold stash to do Money. this. Money. Okay, you do this. I will give you ten <laughs> gold after you are done. I will give you ten gold for my personal gold stash. Deal. Better. Since I will. Like you, you lied about the fucking castle. I, I have fifty gold I stole a while ago. I will give you ten of it if you just fucking do this for me. Uh, fine. I no, but, dude, okay. Come with me. Show me what I need to do. Yeah, have we even, we haven't even gotten the image file yet, child? We have to get the image file. Child. <laughs> <laughs> The hate is real. Uh, <laughs> so you guys, you guys had to go through the, the the data center anyways to get back into the uh, the the testing laboratory. Yeah, the, the laboratory safely. Thank, thank you. Um, but so as you guys make it in there, uh, he hops off from your shoulder and starts like going through the starts like going as fast as he can through the different um, different bookshelves and whatnot, and he pulls out this um, bifold, this like small folder that has just a couple text images in it, and um, he hands it over to, to Malachor. I'm, I'm gonna go with go back to them and uh, give them the thing while she's doing give them the image file while well, she's drawing the blood for ten fucking gold. Damn right. So, just to kind of give a time skip, um, so Malachor makes it over to the east, uh, the, the east wing, and uh, goes into the hallway and meets up with Sophia and hands her off the file, makes his way back, um, and they immediately go back to the cipher. And uh, so Malachor makes his way back, and uh, that way you guys can go into it together because the door is still barricaded anyhow, and I doubt Yuki's going to pull that off by herself. Um, but while they're at the door, uh, I'm going to provide the second half of it, and all you have to do is tell me the answer. Um, I'm going to provide you the, the alphabet thing, Auburn. 
real quick. All you have to do is just tell me what like that says on the door. What it spells out to, anyways. It's very simple. Um, but while you're figuring that out, I'm going to cut over to Sully and my dad as they're getting their way into the laboratory. So, uh... Well, it's their Seek Star, but... Seek Star! But yeah, um... Well, shit, then I guess... I don't I know just... what a Zeke Star is. Zeke Star is going to become a thing here in a bit. So... Okay. You... So you guys open up the... I'm... I'll just continue off the, the door cipher thing then. So, you open up the door, and you're led into this tower. And there's a spiral staircase that goes up, but there's also a... It also connects to the another um, door that goes into a different direction that goes a little bit more north. Um, Sophie kind of suggests that you split up a bit, and you go upstairs, and she takes the door. Um, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to say that's 60 feet in distance if, uh, if you go upstairs, so that should be fine. Um, do you want to split up or do you want to stay together? Me? Me? Auburn. Yes. Do you want to split up or do you want to stay together? Well, I'm currently standing out the front of the gate with Sophia, so... Did, did no one hear me? Okay, so I, I explained I that you. you guys opened the door and you went into a tower, and this tower has a spiral staircase that goes up, but there's also another door that leads into another area, and she suggested that you either uh, take the upstairs or you guys go both at the same time, just deciding which way you want to go. So do you want to split up or do you want to go the same direction? Upstairs would limit my combat effectiveness, so sending the others upstairs first. But it's just good tactics. Okay, so you guys want to, you want to go in the same direction, but you want to go upstairs. I want to stay down upstairs. Unless I'm not there, I'll pick because. Otherwise, I'm basically useless if something comes running down the stairs. So you guys, um, in that case, I'll say you guys go upstairs just for simplicity. So you guys start to go upstairs, and um, you, you to, as you, you're coming up the staircase, you see one door that leads uh, one direction, which l looks like it matches up to the direction of the hallway downstairs. And then uh, the other door leads to um, another room that is facing away from where you guys came from. Uh, and Sophia opens up that door, and um, you guys kind of step through. And this is this room that you guys come into is the control room with um, with where Tease was earlier in that one cutscene. But it's nothing but like dead scientists and um, dead soldiers, and there's a bunch of different uh, contraptions with different levers and switches and buttons and whatnot, uh, all kind of pour into you in most regards. But um, there's a little section that divots off into a hallway, but um, the other ha the, the other um, Like, when you enter in, uh, across from you is the wall that connects to that divot into a hallway, but uh, that, like, wall leading up to it is nothing but glass, and you can see through that glass, and down below is this greenhouse that's filled with all sorts of plants, and it's um, super kind... It, it's very uh, rainforesty in there. There's a lot of different uh, tropical plants, and uh, plants that are really good in humidity and whatnot. Um, very, it's it's a greenhouse. <laughs> I'm I'm probably pissing off my dad for not describing plants very well, or a greenhouse for that matter. 
But the plants are running rampant, and they're kind of taking over the entire uh, greenhouse. So it's the house, and it's green. It's a, it's a house, and it's green, and it's, it's made of. I will wild. murder you in your sleep. All the murder ever, murder, most. <laughs> The reason I say it would offend my dad is because my dad has plenty of fucking plants, and their house is the house that is green, and it has all the green! My door's locked, bitch! You ain't getting in here! Uh- <laughs> I am a plant hoarder, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a large full-on plant hoarder. Yeah, 200 and counting. Um, you love your plants more than you yeah. love me. Uh- <laughs> Live. What do you mean, Man, live? live. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oof. I think I'm getting tired, guys. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> we can continue this next week. Yeah, because, like, we're starting to get off track again, and I'm, I'm like, I'm having brick head. If anybody knows We've been that. gone for, what, like, two hours now? Uh... Technically four, if we count the last session. Uh, I'm sa- I mean, I'm saying we can continue this next week. Yeah, let's let's do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this off, and we'll go into the greenhouse next time and whatnot. So, uh, yay, the house of weed! It's it's. Not We're gonna weed. get so high next episode. It's, <laughs> up. it's not weed. For the love of God, it's not weed. We you said it's the greenhouse. Look, just because put, put, just because Snoop Dogg is hiding somewhere in the middle of it does not mean it's the look. We can't be condoning weed on YouTube. They'll demonetize us. Or some Isn't shit. Weed like legal in a good portion of the world now? I'm in Florida. I'm in Indiana, it's still not legal here. It's supposed to be like uh, legal federally soon, but I, I I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing. So I, I mean, it's I legal here medically. It's legal medicinally, like over ninety percent of the world, just because like the America is so fucking conservative. I'm getting into politics Puritanical. at the end of this damn video. Let me uh let me just end this now before it like gets too oh, damn bad. <laughs> so um I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll 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 be in the next. Uh, podcast and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Here's the part where we've been. Bye! Go to the greenhouse and it's Bye. Bye everybody! Bye! Bye! Imagine if money was made out of hemp. <laughs> what a great way to like...